Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to the video. I hope your day is going great. Mine's been really awesome. Today's all-star event is really cool and fun. It's not as good as yesterday, not gonna lie, but it's still funny and entertaining. But overall, I do want to say something about the all-stars event. It's really been a great experience. Honestly, it's so fun watching these players be super happy and not really take the game that serious because we're used to watching them on that stage and they're competing in matches and they want to win so bad. And one team will either look super depressed and the other one's super focused. You never get to see like the exciting emotion of players besides when they like win a championship or something or a stage title. So it's great to see them all in this environment where they can all just be chill, relaxed, laugh, have some fun, talk some trash, and it's just been great overall. So we're going to be covering the All-Stars event. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of highlights. It seemed like yesterday a lot of you guys, you know, couldn't find any highlights on YouTube. I know Action Esports usually uploads them, but they were super late. They were like 17, 18 hours late. And you guys know me, I like to upload my stuff real fast after events. So this video will probably be up like an hour after the event. So I will show you guys a ton of the highlights, but that's gonna be in the second half of the video because in the first part, we are talking about XQC because he seems to be coming really mainstream when it comes to social media and a lot of people outside of Overwatch are starting to recognize him and he got shouted out by a really famous rapper, guys. I'm sure most of you guys know who T-Pain is. If not, well, we're gonna talk about it and you'll have to learn. But yeah, XQC got shouted out by a famous rapper. We're gonna cover the whole entire situation. And before that, we're gonna cover one more thing before the All-Stars event today, which actually has to do with All-Stars and it's Monte Cristo getting real salty on Twitter, pretty much calling out the entire community about making false accusations of him being bad at Overwatch. <laughs> it's pretty funny, guys. He also did get reported by Overwatch League midstream, mid-match yesterday. We're gonna cover all of that. It's real juicy. Be sure if you're excited to watch this video, guys, drop a like on it. And if you guys wanna stay updated on all Overwatch League news, updates, World Cup information, just anything Overwatch League and Overwatch related, this is your channel. Click that red subscription box. Make sure notifications are on. And now without further ado, let's hop into the video. All right, so starting off with the XQC news, let's go ahead and take a look at this tweet from T-Pain. He said this, my guy XQC, we got to get a session in. Thanks for the love. And then he tweeted out his stream and then linked a clip of XQC talking about T-Pain. Let's go ahead and roll that clip of XQC. Die, die. Thanks. A new T-Pain song, boys. I fucking love the other thing, dude. It's a classic. So it seems like XQC enjoys T-Pain's music, and T-Pain saw this, so he shouted him out on Twitter and asked him, Hey man, let's play some Overwatch together, because if you guys didn't know, T-Pain actually does play Overwatch, and T-Pain actually hosted my stream once. And this was a while ago, it was almost two years ago when I was on Boston Splice competing for them. T-Pain was kind of like involved with their organization, and he did host me a couple times, and I know some of you guys will be like, oh, you're lying, T-Pain did host you, blah, blah, blah. I did take a screenshot of it, so you can see suck on that. <laughs> so yeah, I guess, you know, if anybody actually doesn't believe me, I'll go ahead and link the screenshot here because of course I took a screenshot, guys. This was two years ago, man. Like this was before Drake played with Ninja. Rap and video games were not like together. They didn't acknowledge each other. And T-Pain hosted me. I was super excited. I thought this was so cool. I wanted to show my friends, my family, all that stuff. So yeah, there's the screenshot. And just in general, I think it's really cool that T-Pain has been so involved with the Overwatch League. I believe we have seen him at the actual event and he does rep Florida Mayhem. So like he's really involved with Overwatch Esports and I don't know if you guys knew that. So it's something fun to share. He got shouted out by XQC. They definitely want to stream together. I'm sure it would be absolutely hilarious. I mean, let's be honest, any XQC stream is absolutely hilarious so it would be gold but that's pretty much it for this situation let's go ahead and move on now and talk about Monte Cristo and the all-stars event because Monte Cristo was a little bit salty yesterday after the all-stars event so he was on team Pacific and they did end up winning but prior to this event happening Monte Cristo was getting a ton of flack from not only just the casters in the talent takedown but also the entire community just saying, wow, Pacific's going to suck because Monte Cristo is like bronze. And of course, Monte Cristo today had to respond to that and say this on Twitter. Forgot to shout out to Reddit yesterday for endlessly circle jerking lies about my skill at Overwatch in spite of no one having seen me play nor my account. Dominated the front line for the entire match. 
<laughs> legend so monte cristo actually did play really good yesterday on main tank specifically reinhardt and i was surprised because i bought into all the crap that everybody was talking about him saying he was trash i just assumed all right monte cristo probably doesn't play the game at all and he just sucks that's what everybody's saying but it turns out it wasn't true and monte cristo's pretty salty about this he definitely proved himself yesterday so good for him and let's go ahead and roll this clip from the actual all-stars match yesterday where he got reported for sandbagging this was honestly one of the best moments and i wanted to save it for today's video monty can't hear him so that's what i respect no no chip on that though. yeah oh, oh my god thanks. dude that was clean. I, the pacific team has decided that sitting in spawn is probably the best course of action moving forward um <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah that sounds right <laughs> sandbagging <laughs> Uh, you know, they're, they're just saving themselves for their, uh, next year's uh, talent takedown. I'm thinking. You know, you gotta, you gotta cut. Yeah, I'm told that pros, you know, usually save strats. Maybe that's what's going yeah, on. Yeah, saving it for next season. You know, just started practicing, working out what they're gonna do for next year. <laughs> According to Custa, they're sandbagging for the next All-Stars event, boys. Absolutely hilarious. That had to be one of the best moments yesterday. And I guess this is a good transition to go ahead and hop into the highlights from today's All-Star event because it's been absolutely awesome. And I do want to start out with the very first one being about Mickey because he did win the real important Dennis Internet Hulk Havelka Award. And for you guys who haven't been around the scene for a very long time, Internet Hulk was once a player in the Overwatch scene. He competed for Team Envious. He also transitioned into a coach for Team Liquid. He was always an instrumental part of his teams. He was a stand-up guy, and unfortunately, he did end up passing around the end of last year. And I'm just going to go ahead and roll the clips from Mickey winning the award. Congratulations to him. He really did earn it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Overwatch League All-Star Weekend. And we get to the part of the show that I've been looking forward to, I think, Me you know, something that means a heck of a lot to, you know, both of us personally, and of course, to a lot of you guys out there. A chance to honor a dear friend and also celebrate some of the members of our community that we have around. The Dennis Havelka Award is something that we give to players who've had the greatest positive impact on the Overwatch League community. Yeah, that's right. And of course, it is named for Dennis Internet Hulk Havelka, who unexpectedly passed away last November was a great friend to many of us in the early Overwatch community. Uh, many people know him as a player who formed the early most dominant team in Overwatch, the team that became Envious and later on the Dallas Fuel. But he was also a friend of all, many of the casters, players, and such an overwhelmingly positive force in the community in general and the broader uh, kind, of, kind of competitive Overwatch world. Hi, my name is Dennis Haveka. My game attack is Internet Hike and I play for Team Germany. When you think about a player that's had veteran leadership, both as a player and later on as a coach, you need to look no further than Internet Hulk. Internet Hulk has been in the space for such a long time. He's just a fan favorite. Everyone likes Internet Hulk. I pick Internet Hulk! <laughs> See Hulk looking like, much oh, happier yes. now. Internet Hulk was a good leader, putting the team together and make them focus on what's really important. I feel like best at whatever you do in life is if you actually, you're like giving more than 100%. And in the moment, you're like, you get like fire that you, like you're burning, you know? The Germans really benefited from having a guy like Internet Hulk in their roster. I want to give a huge shout out to the German community. Thanks to everyone who messaged me and wished us best of luck in the World Cup. And I love you guys. I made a career out of gaming when I was 29. I had a rough past before that, but I told my dad what I'm doing and he's watching my games. And it's the best feeling in the world to actually make your parents proud. And I feel like that's, that's what I did. It's amazing. And to announce the winner of our first ever Dennis Havelka Award, it will be one of his championship teammates from Team Envious, the always smiling Mickey, the emotional core of the Dallas Fuel. Congratulations, Mickey. Tell us, you played with Dennis, obviously, you know, he had a lot of experience, a lot of friendship shared with him. What does you know, winning this award or receiving it mean for you? 
So as you know, I'm not sure if everyone knows that. Like, the reason why I'm here is because of him picked me up from the World Cup first year. Like, it will be like very very hard for the C people to like join the tournament in US. Like, especially join the uh, NA team is like almost impossible, as you can see. Like, uh, I'm the only one who is like Thai and play with the NA team. So this was like, um, for me, I'm very glad about it. I mean, I don't want to feel, I don't want to be emotional in front of the camera, of course. So yeah, basically like, I'm very happy like to get this award and this is remind me a lot of memories. And because of your positivity, Mickey, how do you maintain such an outlook uh, throughout the wins and losses of the regular season? Because you're always the one joking with your teammates, trying to bring them up. What is it that inspires that in you? So it's about, if you're thinking about the, the reality, it's like when you're like losing or when you feel down or whatever, like you have to think about the people behind you. Like uh, my family watching me playing this game, like doing this job, even though like my mom doesn't understand at all about this game, like she watching the game live, like all the things she understand is like when I like play with the camera in the, in the, at the start, but she's still watching the whole game, like like watching again and again. She doesn't, under, she doesn't even understand English. But like, I'm sure that she, she wants to see me happy in front of the camera. She doesn't want to see me like depressed when we're losing. Uh, also, the, all the fans or whoever supporting me, like I don't think anyone want to see me like being depressed or like being unhappy, right? Yeah, so that's the thing. Like if I'm, be, like, if I'm not happy, if I'm sad, like the people who watch me, he gonna, they're going to be sad. And I don't want that. I don't want that to happen. It's nothing is better. Also, my teammate, if I like being sad to them, like being unhappy and make anything go worse, it's just like everything gonna be worse. So I just think in a positive way, like just like everything passed, just pass. Mickey, thank you for being such a shining example of positivity and kindness. I know Dennis would be very, very proud, especially as one of his teammates, to receive this award. And there it is, guys. Honestly, really emotional. Internet Hulk, he was a staple in the community, and it's so unfortunate the way he passed. It is amazing in the way we can honor it, though, with the Internet Hulk Award, and congratulations once again to Mickey. He really did deserve it, and you can tell he really did have a strong relationship with Internet Hulk, so the perfect player to take it home. And now let's go ahead and move on to some of the highlights from today's All-Star event. Trades back and forth as the Atlantic tries to find an angle to a, a press here. Jehan's gonna get the knife! Nice combo. Welcome to the FGC as Jayhong takes down two. Straight punches to the face. Not stopping either. Going after Jonak. Next. And he's even. Exactly. He's got the strike. He's just ready. He's waiting. Kush flat. Arc is gone. Uh, that was perfect play from Jayhong. Loving to see more of the fist action here. Down, but it has been all blue on the left side of the kill feed. Thank you very much to save Biolbi who comes alive again. That's his fourth. Elimination in a row right there. Say Byobi shining on this McCree. I haven't seen him play a lot of McCree. Bonkers. He's got 16 final blows already. Yeah, he's definitely kind of alive here after the first point going into second. Only missed one work. shot. One shot out of seven there. That is efficiency in action. I'm uh, Say Bubi, you did a little skydiving uh, at the end of that, that round. Could you tell me what happened here? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta tell me, man. Was that, was that intentional? That's my plan. It's fan service. Fan service. Totally intentional. I love it. This man is a showman. All right, well, guys, give it up for Pine and Sapi. You'll be having such a good time here. Everything in sight, damage boosted Bastion as if he needed to be more powerful. Also, tank mode available for soon. Seems like he's kind of waiting for a flank here or something for them to commit. If he can get behind this Ryan, things are gonna get nasty. Oh, there's the shatter! Perfectly done! Mono shutting him down! Looking for that flank? I think not. If you ever wonder why modern day military tanks don't play charge before they charge, that would be the reason right there. Some tactical crouching there. Yeah, it was a, I like it. It was a little group tea party. Mad Hatter was invited. Change places. <laughs> Shots. There we go. It would be a defender's favorite map here. 
Defenders always have a pretty solid defender's advantage going through, especially when he gets the last point, but we're not even towards that second checkpoint yet. Got to get around this bend. They're going to have to go into a Graviton here as well. And there you go. Next. Oh, the stick. Oh, oh Wombo oh. Combo. Saya. What was it, Hex? Saya surprise. Oh. Perfect. Atlantic. I guarantee you that Prophet is checking his backside every couple of seconds. Yeah, you can actually see him flipping around right now. Gotta get on the cart. Oh, and he is gonna have to just come straight back onto the cart. Achilles, nobody's there! Nobody is there to death the cart! Letter number, letter number, letter, letter number. number. Non-existent. But that's, that, that, you know, there's, there's a shade of gray there. Yeah, could, could work out. Yeah, Mickey already having a good time, of course. Mickey always having a good time. Yeah, I've, I've been able to hang out with him a couple times outside of work and no different. Always just this super fun guy. There he is, right up in your face. Those 3D glasses at home really paying off, giving people heart attacks, I'm sure. I think it's possible. He's getting there. Striker working his way up to it, Nana. For Striker and the Widow V. Widow, you know, on us. Yeah, got kind a of sniper rifle as well. You scope in right there. People always underestimate the Tor primary. That primary is absolutely lethal. If you can hit left, they try to take the second point of Lunar Colony. Already a worse time, though, as 520 in the bank for the Pacific Division. Oh, this is everything you want it to be. Oh, I expect to get silenced immediately, but a nano boosted Doom Fist punch to the face would be brutal. All right, so now the defender's advantage will come into play a little bit because the spawns are so much closer, but the respawn timer is going to be brutal. Pine takes down three, and that might just be all she wrote right there. Looking to crack it open, have to deal with Big Goose. They do eventually melt him. Counter stun comes through, progress yeah. continue to be made, and they are looking like they're going to pull this off here at Atlantic Division. Oh, the Pine Fist has been a thing of beauty. We're going to have to see some kills on the left side for the Pacific Division, but none come through. It is a torrent of blue right there. Let's do some Horizon Lunar Colony Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, there it is. What? Where'd it go? And I don't know if you can eat that or not, but that is one. Let's see you off the edge. Pacific Holes, a couple of mines ended up killing, so I'm not sure where it dropped, but it seems like... throw it over the side? Uh, Could he have messed it up and fat fingered it off the side into the water? We're gonna have to ask the Atlantic what happened there because I did not see it, but we could always just ask our good for the replays. No, I think it was dropped right on the point. You need a new prescription in your glasses there, buddy? Uh, yeah, but I'm talking about Blizzard May. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Cause you heard the Blizzard Man, I mean, he doesn't have an ult anymore. Blizzard Man, I mean, he doesn't have an ult anymore, so at some point the ult got used. There. We're tied up 99-99 here in Pacific Division. Looking to hold out so far. It's not looking too shabby for them. They've got the players alive, though there is a bit more of a killer unit moving on Who's here. You? Why not make this guy unkillable? He's not on point to stall it, though. Could go for the contest for the rest of the team. Yes! yes! Mecco gets in the face of Fissure. Remember, Pacific in, in the lead right now on the point, and that'll be 100% to zero. Here on Ilios, they will take stage one out of three. Oh, Here it's the best they've done so far. Mano looking to put an end to this. Mano trying to solo down the hamster. Muma's gonna come in with his own hamster oh, as well. And Mano eventually does take down Gregory. After all of that. Yeah, this is bonkers. A little bit of the contest there, just trying to stall things out, but they're getting picked off one after another. Fleta gonna get overwhelmed. Architect is hanging around as well, but that's not gonna be for long because Fury's punching him in the face. Mano's handle looks great there. He was hitting everything. Finishes off with it. They are on match point. So this is it, Atlantic, be all, end all. They can do it right here. So you gotta think that maybe the tanks actually play some tanks on this next one because Orissa is really good in the murder hole, as is Roadhog. Mm -hmm. Uh, just, just yank some all, people in. Don't even combos. Just, just you know, nano boost. They want a nano boost fury molten core, and I want to see it so badly. Let's go. There it is. Molten. Yes! Going yes! forever. Oh, he gets robbed by Poco, but he could find joy here. And there we go. Time! Hammer kills. <laughs> I love it. He's even doing a little shuffle. About to find out now, Hex. There isn't much time here for Atlantic. Mono swapped over. They've gone for changes again. Muma's on the junk. Mono. Flood against West Wing. He's gonna have Shatter. And we've got Gesture going for the the, the Doomfist. Mega! Oh! But the Sound Barrier saves him. 
IQ 9000 plays. The Molten Core is out, not messing around with the hammer. It's not hammer time, but that Moira doing a lot of healing. This one's about as close as it gets. The Shatter onto Fury. He's down. Did they knock him in? He got him. Puka with the yoink. Oh, huge halt combo there. Muma finding the kill on Gagger. He's not going to help things here for Pacific. And that is it. Muma cleaning up. Muma busting out the Jake Rat. He's learned from the best, and that is it. The Atlantic Division All-Stars will win Ilios, and they will win the Overwatch League All-Star Game powered by Intel. And that is going to be it for the highlights, guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like down below. And as well as that, if you want me to do more highlights for future events like the World Cup, let me know because I can have them up like an hour, hour and a half after the event happens. It'll be super quick. I'll be way ahead of the competition. You guys can see the highlights as soon as possible. So let me know down below. And lastly, if you haven't already, guys, hit that subscription box to stay updated on all Overwatch League news and updates. And that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you for watching.